Breathtaking Wayland Smithy in Ashbury in the western tip of Oxfordshire is a vastly ancient site. The Neolithic Long Barrow is situated around a mile from the Uffington White Horse along the ancient Ridgeway route. It's a pleasant and atmospheric walk from the Uffington Castle Iron Age Hill Fort to the older Wayland Smithy site, which is in a clearing in a small wood. Initially constructed by Neolithic farmers shortly after the advent of agriculture in Britain between 3590 and 3550 BC, it provided the final resting place for 14 people. A far longer barrow or burial chamber was constructed on top of the original structure around 5,500 years ago between 3460 and 3400 BC. Far later, the Anglo-Saxons believed the site was inhabited by one of their gods, Wayland the Smith. They held that the barrow was in fact the deity's forge. Wayland was cognate with the Norse Voland and Teutonic Vyland and was said to have been a blacksmith. This highlights the shared culture and close linguistic relationship between the Germanic languages that all share an Indo-European root. Wayland's story is most clearly told in Old Norse sources in the Poetic Edda, most notably Volundark Vita and Thidric's saga. The stories tell how the god was taken into slavery by a king and, in vengeance, Wayland kills the king's sons and makes his escape after taking flight with a winged cloak. Wayland and his two brothers were said to have married Valkyries. The deity also makes an appearance in the Old English classic Beowulf and Waldair as an armourer and weaponsmith. Wayland also enters Arthurian legend through medieval romance literature, with King Riderick Hale giving one of his swords to the mythical wanderer and, in some tellings, wizard Merlin. Rudyard Kipling's Puck of Pook's Hill also mentions the superstition that a horse left overnight at Wayland Smithy with a groat as payment for the god would be shod by morning. The site was excavated, partially reconstructed and shown to have been the result of compound construction in the 1960s. In 1962-3, Stuart Piggott and Richard Atkinson studied the then-neglected monument and found the longer and later mound to be 180 feet long and 43 feet wide at the southern end. The site is now under the protection of English heritage. Wayland Smithy, like similar megalithic structures and ancient sites along the Ridgeway, like Uffington Castle and Whitehorse and Avebury and Stonehenge, has become a haunt for adherence to modern paganism in later years. Whatever your beliefs, it is an atmospheric, imposing and truly ancient place. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.